Hi, I'm Ted with Everything Attachments, and we're here today with Peanut, and we're going to do a little. We're going to make our garden just a little bit bigger so we can see how our new plow's working. Peanut and I came over here and tried out this new mow board that we're making in house a couple of weeks ago. It did great. This is the first one that we've got fully painted up and ready to go. And if you'll notice, there's a special little bend in here to make it cavitate and get away from that plate so it doesn't, if it's a little bit wet, it doesn't stay sucked up to the mow board. And then it's got an extra kick on the end. This is a duplicate of what used to be like an old Ford plow. And they were always known for being the best plows around here from way back. This is our compact series, so it has the narrow hitch. It's fully adjustable here on the sides. The pin here is adjustable if you're offsetting it to keep your plow straight. Uh, it also, this beam goes forward so you can put the coulter device, which is a wheel that will cut the grass before it gets to the beam to wad up on it. We plowed this whole garden right before it started freezing. It's been freezing all winter on it and it's just kind of turned it in instead of the the outer edge that you see out here is the edge that peanut and i plowed about two weeks ago and so it really did good you can see how far it brought that edge up and then you can see the difference in what was plowed this year and what was plowed before it freezes because this red clay as hard as it is what it really needs is to be turned over before it starts freezing and then the freeze just kind of melts it into the kind of dirt that you're gonna need and want to have for a garden. So this part here really can go by without being plowed. So we're gonna plow up a few new strips, just make it just a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna go over it with the tiller and the garden better to make our hills for our squash and potatoes. And we may have to adjust anything and everything on this plow to get it right since this is the first time we've been back over here with it. See, it's really turning the dirt over good. It's sending it a good distance. All the grass is turning completely upside down, which is what you want. So it decomposes just to keep making your ground better and better. A lot of people wonder if this old red clay will grow anything. And we would had some of the best vegetables last year that I've ever had. And uh, I'll probably never go without a home garden again. So it really needs to be adjusted a little bit. It's aimed a little bit down, it's cooked, it's going crooked, and I'm gonna adjust all that on the next pass and we'll get it right. So the plow's leaning a little bit to the left until he gets in the furrow, which now it's running dead level. And it's wanting to go deeper. And with this little tractor and this virgin ground, you just kind of have to take your time with these R4 tires because the side that's on the grass likes to spin. But it's doing a really good job of getting it turned. The more a plow is used and the slicker that mow board gets, the better it will always plow. Now we could put a gauge wheel on this and just set it down and go and not have to worry about the depth. But since he has a pretty good position control, he's just controlling the depth of it with his hand. And right there's a place where it wadded up. If the coulter was on it, it would have just cut that. So just to give you a little history, Peanut and I have been friends and been working together about 35 years. <clears throat> my grandfather, my great-grandfather started with plows over 150 years ago with mules. His business was still operated up to two years ago when my uncle's eyesight got so bad he just had to quit at the age of about 87 in Lincolnton, North Carolina. 
So we've been in the plowing business for 150 years, started with mules. My dad was really glad to see the tractors come because he had to, he had to clean out all the, all the stalls for the mules and keep them fed. So it was kind of a battle for a long time what was best, the mule or the tractor. It looks like the tractors have won that war. I just want to say a couple more things. Number one, everything on this plow, with the exception of these two pins, and I'm not sure where they come from, is made here in North Carolina. We're molding this, painting this, and doing every piece of this in Newton, North Carolina at Everything Attachments. So we're proud to keep adding things to our attachment line. Before long, everything that we've been buying for gardening for any size of the mid-size tractors and down, we will be making in-house eventually. Slowly but surely, we're getting it all.